Hello. Okay. Looks like it's that time of the month once again. Loot Crate. As always, if you've not seen me unbox one of these before, I'll quickly sum up what they're all about. Loot Crate is a company that sends you one of these little bad boys every month. They're centered around one particular theme, and the stuff inside is generally about five things, like a mug, a t-shirt, a pop figure, that kind of fun stuff. I've been collecting them now for, I want to say, three years, or maybe it's been four years, it's been a while now. And every month it's like getting a little present to myself, so yay. This particular box's theme is Invaders, which instantly makes me think of Space Invaders, but I have no idea because these boxes are usually quite topical, but they're always quite random, so <laughs> And on that note, I should point out, this box is actually September 2018's box, which means with a theme like Invaders, we're going to go with Aliens, I assume. So what came out in September that would be alien related? I have no idea, actually. Huh, fair enough, well, we'll open it and find out in a sec. But before we do that, I probably should point out what's going on on my face. Every time I do these unboxings, I like to do them in a particular character makeup, just because it makes it a bit more fun. This particular makeup is comic book inspired, so I'll pop a link on the screen right there. That link will take you to a video that I did to teach you guys how to do this makeup, just in case you're interested. It'll also be in the description bar below. So with all that said, let's open it. Okie dokie, let's have a look. Probably should also mention I don't open these boxes until I'm live on camera with you guys, just so you can see it for the first time with me. Makes it a bit more fun, doesn't it? So here we go, so I won't look. I will, however, grab the t-shirt, because there's always one t-shirt. Okay, here we are. So as always, I'll let you guys see it first. Bloop, bloop. So what do we think? Is it pretty? Let's have a see. Oh, it's pink, I like pink. Oh, it's pink and purple, hello. Purple's my favourite colour. Pink and purple go fabulous together, so I'm happy. So what have we got here? Okay, that's Venom. Oh, Venom! How did I not think about Venom? Of course... Uh. Alright, so what have we got? So we've got Venom, and... Oh, that's pretty damn cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, I really like that. Look at that. I say that like you've not seen it already, but oh my god, isn't that cool? Oh, I'm so happy with that! So, black shirt's my favourite. Purple, my favourite. Pink, hello. <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy because the last few Loot Crate t-shirts have been a little bit hit and miss for me. Not in terms of quality, I've just some of them I've not actually known what they're from and who the hell does not know Venom. And before you say it, yes, I will do a Venom makeup at some point. I don't plan on doing it yet just because, I mean, obviously the film just came out and I don't like doing makeups necessarily because they're topical. I just like doing them because I do them. Um, but I did do a Carnage makeup, which would be very similar, which is just black and red. So, yeah, but I will do it in the future, I promise. Until then, yay! Okie dokie, so next... Let's go for the big box, as always. So I'm not looking, I'll let you guys see it first. Boop, okay, so what is it? I, I see black and green, I mean, is it an Xbox? Ha, is it a mini Xbox? Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, okay. Okay, that's really cute, but I, I really thought it was an alien pissing. I genuinely thought it was, <laughs> whoops. Okay, well that's adorable. So it's a xenomorph with a pair, I'm gonna say face hugger then. And a face, oh the face hugger's weird and gets the fire hydrant, fair enough. But I really thought, I mean, look, it, it looks like a yellow, it looks like he's pissing. Oh, that's adorable. Hang on, let's have a look. Again, right, they always say this, it's an adult collectible, it's not a toy. Well, if that's not a toy, what the bloody hell is it? Well, collectible, I guess, but still the same bloody thing. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna assume it's a little statue then, cause, hang on, it looks like it. Uh, yeah, it is. Okay, so in the last box we had, which to be honest, one of my favourite boxes, they had a very similar thing. They had like Rick and Morty, which is I think is my prized possession at this point. Um, but this is the same, so it's already built. You just pop the figure onto the stand. Oh my god, the alien's got an iPhone. Oh, that makes me so happy. Ha! Or an Android phone, whichever. Let me pop it together and you'll see for yourself. Oh my god, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's so cute! Oh my god! Okay, hang on. Look, isn't that sweet? Oh, I want a little pet face hugger now. I mean, I don't, because it would hug my face, but yeah. <laughs> and I can't get over his phone, look. Oh my God, what's he texting? Oh, you dirty bitch. I really hope this is a Loot Crate thing that they're going to continue in the future, because this is the second one of these now that's been in this scale and on a disc platform. Obviously, they've done uh, different figures in the past, but these two, like this and the Rick and Morty one I got last month, do really look like they go together. Oh, that would be a great collection to start, wouldn't it? Look at that. <laughs> a well done, Loot Crate. All right, okay, so next one. Here we go. So, okay, this feels very fabric-y. Let's have this. Okay, so let's have a look. So I see camouflage material. Okay. It's camouflage material. It is literally actually camouflage. Oh my God, it's Predator. Oh, I saw that in the reflection of the camera. Oh my God, it's Predator. Ha ha ha, love that. I genuinely thought they'd just given me a bandana, but no. Yes. Okay, that looks cool. I'm happy with that. I will say I've not gone to see the new uh, Predator movie purely because, and I'm going to be very nice about this, 
it looks shit. I'm sorry, I'm really, it could be great, but I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the first Predator, fantastic movie. I actually really liked Alien vs Predators, which was split opinions, but I really liked it. But from the advert of this new one, it just looks shockingly bad. I'm very sorry, I could be wrong, I could go and see it, it could be great, but nah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just gonna say this is for the first one. Yeah, let's do that. Isn't that cool? I'm not sure what I'll use it for though. I might make a kitty bandana, that'd be cute. <laughs> Okie dokie, I would imagine we're at the end now because, oh hang on, hang on, one, two, okay, so I've got three things here, one of them's going to be a badge, one of them's going to be a leaflet, which means, hang on, there we go, so this, oh, shouldn't be looking, should I say, this is, <laughs> I have no idea, but it says I want to believe, so I'm going to assume it is X-Files related, I think it's a little book, you know, let's have a look, it is X-Files, it says on the back, so yeah, hang on, oh, it's a little notebook, okay, fair enough, so as you guys can see there, it's a little notebook that's playing on the inside. And you might remember from my last Luke Crow video where I got the uh, Harley Quinn book. I went on a rant about how much I freaking love stationery and notebooks and I collect them like crazy. So this is cute. It is a little bit smaller than I like. Usually I like them a little bit bigger. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my mind wandered. Um, <laughs> but no, it's still cute. I can keep it in my bag at least, but yeah, cute. Like a little shopping list book. And the very last thing is the Loot Crate pin, which is fantastic. Oh, they're getting really good. Hang on, let me show you this. I don't know how well you can see that, but isn't that cool? So it's a face hugger. That's really cool. The last two or three pins that Loot Crate have done have been so good. I say pins because, yeah, it's like a pin that goes in a lanyard or a hat or something like that. That's so good. The last one they did was Courage the Cowardly Dog, and it blew my mind. But that is amazing. Isn't that good? Oh, I do love a pin. I guess the only other thing to do really is to turn the Loot Crate box inside out because sometimes it becomes either like a prop or it becomes just a diorama or just a pretty box. So I'm just going to turn it inside out and we'll see what we've got. Bam. So, very alien themed, we have this. Yay, so it's just something to make the box look prettier, but... So it's an alien trapped in a machine. <laughs> they do go through a lot of effort on these boxes, don't they? So it's just something to make the boxes look nicer if you choose to display them, which is sweet. Okie dokie, so that's my next Loot Crate video. I'm absolutely ecstatic with it. It's going to be very difficult to beat my last Loot Crate with the Rick and Morty figure and the Courage of Cowardly Dog pin, but this does come close. It is very sweet, isn't it? And I love the t-shirt as well. I want to boop him, but he hasn't got a news. Huh. Ah, fuck it. But yeah, so that's my Loot Crate video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. If you wanted to collect Loot Crate for yourself, I'll pop a link on the screen right there. That link will take you straight to my Loot Crate page. And if you pop in the code PINKSTYLIST at checkout, you get 10% off your order. Yeah. So yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. And yeah, so until next time. Bye, guys.